Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, is doing this work in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Bob Rob from GMS Chicago. Uh, I got an article that I want to go into. All right. Now, this article is dealing with a cop that's basically on leave and he's being investigated for listening to the Hebrew Israelites. All right. He's being investigated for listening to the Israelites. And I want to bring this article out because uh, you brothers that's, that, that, that's in this thing, all right, that speak, even uh, you people that's online that listen, that go to our pages, that show support. All right. That's associated with us. I'm bringing this out because you got to get ready to suffer for this faith. All right. Get ready to suffer for this faith. Now, uh, this is from News and Record. I, I'm, I'm guessing this is a, a publication in Greensboro, North Carolina, because this is where the story uh, took place. All right. It says Greensboro police officer on paid administrative leave. Video shows him with possible hate group. At North Carolina a and homecoming weekend. <laughs> All right. So just get ready. Uh, they already demonizing us. We've been uh, been called hate groups. Whether it's Great Millstone, GMS. Uh, this particular camp is IUIC. Or ISUPK. Or any other uh, camp. Even though we're not affiliated with them. They're going to group us all together anyway. So uh, like I said. Get ready for the demonization. Uh, to, to come down but it must come because it's all in the scriptures it says Greens, Greensboro a Greensboro police officer has been placed on paid administration leave uh, just weeks after marching in a parade with an, organi an organization that the Southern Poverty Law Center have labeled a black nationalist hate group resource said right which we ain't a hate group man we just come out and speak the truth of the Bible regardless if you like it or not so anything that Esau deems offensive to him or cuts into his way of life or cuts uh, the nonsense that he's been spewing on this earth, uh, you know, for decades. They label that hate. All right. The scriptures, the gospel, the faith of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Esau labels that Esau labels that hate. On October 26th, Lieutenant Stacy Morton was seen with members of Israel United in Christ. Right. So this lieutenant was seen as uh, basically he's guilty by association. All right. A group of black Hebrew Israelite, uh, <laughs> which were not black Hebrew Israelites. And they use that word. Uh, all right. To uh, to group us together, man, because you got even in the IUIC and I've seen this with my own and witnesses with my own eyes. They got brothers from different tribes. They got uh, brothers from Native Americans uh, tribes. They got brothers from uh, uh, Latin or Hispanic tribes also. So this black Hebrew Israelite is a word meant to demonize us. It says the movement believes that African Americans are the chosen people of the Most High. It's just not so-called African Americans. You got so-called Latinos, right? Hispanics and Native Americans, and even the speckled birds. You got uh, people out there that have came to this knowledge, right? To this truth, and are in camps. They don't even look like any of the, the aforementioned tribes I just mentioned, all right? Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They might look like uh, some of the heathens, and they are a part of this thing. Right. So they just want to really tie all this back into black because guess what? Esau is getting ready to make his move. All right. The movement believes that African-Americans are the chosen people of the most high, the true descendants from the 12 tribes of Israel. According to the SPLC, the group is anti-police and believes white people are the devil, Jews and fake Jews and members of the LGBT community are sinners and they are sinners. Esau is it's just so full of shit, man. Because the Bible clearly states uh, it's a it's it's fact on homosexuality. What the hell are you talking about? This is this is madness. But in Esau's kingdom, madness is what's preached. Madness is what's pushed as a good thing, right? It says it was the same rhetoric captured on a social media video that the group shouted into microphones from a tent to to any passerby at NC. North Carolina a and homecoming Morton can be seen throughout the 40 minute video sitting in a purple robe under the tent behind the speakers looking at the cell phone so they got this lieutenant on tape man uh, being associated with IUIC 
All right. So <laughs> it's all through the spirit, man, because like I said, get ready to suffer persecution for having faith in this in this thing, man. All right. The people of old suffered. And guess what? We're going to suffer. Everything repeats itself. Right. It says white supremacist Tom Metzger, founder of the white Aryan resistance organization called the black counterpart, called the group the black counterparts, which is a lie, man, which is a fucking lie. We are not the counterpart of the, the Aryan resistance, man. All right. It, you know, this is such a hit piece on us. You know, whoever wrote this basically coming against this uh, lieutenant, but also to demonize, demonize us more. And associate us with uh, the fucking Aryans. Which is bullshit, man. Like I said, like I just mentioned. You got uh, Israelites that look like uh, every nation. And that's biblical and that's scriptural. So, uh, you're not going to see uh, so-called Asians in the fucking Aryan nation. You ain't going to see Hindus in the fucking Aryan nation. So, this is this is bullshit, man. This is a false equivalency, so you can understand, right? But let me grab some scriptures before I get too far into the article. Let's go into, uh, this is in John chapter 7, verse 6. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. So when we go out here and, and speak and preach these videos, even though uh, IUIC and these other camps go off, they're still giving you a, a form, a simulation of the truth, man. They're still teaching you that you're, you're Israelites or to keep, keep the commandments, right? And who you are. So even teaching that bit, uh, <clears throat> guess what, man? You're going to be hated for that, okay? The world's going to come against you because of that. It says... Uh, Police have not confirmed that Morton was placed on administrative leave because of the participation with the group during homecoming weekend. He's been placed on administrative leave while waiting for us to adjudicate an internal investigation. So this man is under investigation, said Ron Glenn, spokesman of the police department, for just being at this march or being uh, up there with purple on. All right. <laughs> so, you know, what I'm saying like like I say, man, they're going to. Uh, they're gonna come at us and uh, look at our look at our photos. People that's around us, people that support us, and if people see that you do support us, all right, they're gonna come against you. And it's all through the spirit, right? Because we don't give a fuck uh, anyway. Because at the end of the day, we're gonna lose everything anyway. Because we're not gonna go along with the society. We're not gonna take that mark of the beast, which is gonna be the implantable microchip. We're not going to uh, bend, the knee, bend the knee to Satan uh, to get along uh, in the society. The hell with the society. And if uh, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, deems it, you know, that we have to lose certain things, it's, it's just got to be that way. Right? It says, uh, Morton joined the Greensboro Police Department uh, on March 16, 2000, he was suspended and discharged in 2003 for hitting a man in the chin during an arrest. He appealed his termination and it was overturned by the city manager in, in 04. He currently oversees the Vice Narcotics Division. Glenn offered no other details. Southern Poverty Law Center named three black nationalist groups based in Greensboro as hate groups during 2018. I ISUPK. Right, knowledge of Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ and Nation of Islam. So they, they group us all together, right? The Black Hebrew Israelite movement gained uh, national attention earlier this year when Covington Catholic High School student Nick Salmon was captured facing off, off the Native American activist Nathan Phillips, in which they won't mention in this that the Native Americans are Israelites also. But they wanted to make this a black thing, okay? That's what the devil does. That's what Esau does. But let me get more scriptures. Let's go to. Uh, let's get this in. Uh, in Philippians, it says, "For unto you it is given in the on, on, in the behalf of Yahweh Shai, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake, 
So this guy that, that woke up to he was an Israelite, even though he was a cop or whatever, guess what? He's suffering right now. He's under investigation. Might uh, lose his livelihood. Even though there's certain brothers within Great Millstone uh, whom, whom demons have put on blast to try to mess with their livelihoods or lose their jobs. But it's, it's, it's what it is, man. It's part of the course and it's part of, uh, of this ministry, right? Because like I said, uh, you can't hold on to this life, man. It's eventually going to be lost anyway for the faith and belief in your Ha'abashim Yahweh Shai. And that's something that you got to get, get in your mind, man. We're not going to be out here forever uh, or doing these videos forever. Uh, Esau Edom is going to make his move, man. He must make his move. And first of all, before he does that, he got to demonize us. And that's what he's doing in his article. Right? It says, uh, Native American activist Nathan Phillips on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, Sandman told media outlets that he and his classmates were trying to overpower hateful comments. And Esau's whole existence is hatred. All right? You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are last in every statistical category. All right? In this kingdom, man. You're in abject poverty. You're a second-class citizen. Okay? You, you get depicted as every stereotype under the sun in every movie, in every uh, television show. All right? The cops can blow your ass away without any kind of, uh, you know, repercussions happening. So you're going to tell me about hate, man. Esau Edom is the ultimate hater. It says being made by black Hebrew Israelites, protesters were also present. Uh, it says, uh, although SPLC acknowledges that most Hebrew Israelites are not racist, anti-Semitic, which is another made up word, right? Or advocates of violence, there is a rising extremist sector with within the movement that thousands have joined. The Law Center said that in 2018, the hate group's leader used uh, people's fear during the climate of racial diversity, uh, divisiveness as a recruitment uh, tool, right? So even adding to this whole thing, but IUIC and these other groups and camps, right? Some of these camps are C CIA, CIA, FBI operated camps. So you can understand who are gonna be set up to do bullshit to make uh, Israelites in general look bad, right? So it's all part of it, and it's all part of course. We, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know must we we know we know what must come down the pipe. So let me grab uh, another scripture in this off. This is the book of. Uh, actually, let me get get this one too. First uh, Peter three and fourteen. But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye. And be not afraid of their terror, need neither be troubled, right? So, we, we're suffering for righteousness' sake. Now, this guy that had the purple robe, purple, so like him, purple robe on at this uh, IUIC uh, march or whatever, this guy might have been uh, sincere, man, and really, uh, you know, trusted in the in IUIC or these guys or whatever, or might really believe this Bible. All right, so he might be sincere. So suffering for righteous sake is just what it is, man. Okay? We're contrary to this kingdom. We're contrary to this way of life. So we got to go through this uh, hell, so to speak, right now. Okay? Let me grab another one. This is a uh, book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 22. Whosoever there, therefore shall confess me among men, will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before man, him will I also deny before my father, which is heaven. So, right. It, these tough decisions are coming, man. Where people are going to, Esau is going to come and let you know and, and, and give you a whole bunch of bullshit charges. And, uh, you know, tell you that you're going to do FaceTime or this or that. Basically, he's going to try to make you deny uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. Deny this faith. Deny who you are. All right. So what are you going to do? Are you going to deny it or are you going to suffer? Suffer for the faith. All right. Suffer for the hope of salvation. All right. The scriptures talk about being uh, faithful unto death and the Lord will fight for thee. So you got to keep that in your mind when, when you come up against these obstacles out here. All right. So I just want to bring this article out. Let, let brothers know, man, that, uh, 
Hey, it's, it's time, man. People being investigated for just being associated with us. All right? It, it's time, man. All right? I'm going to give all glory, praises, and honors to you. How about you, man? How about you? And shout out to the next time.